what is good it is your boy pablo gray and we are back with another reaction video and today we got a clip from i don't know it'll be in the description but the title of it is millions of mail invalids will likely delay election results um before i even get into the video i'm gonna just say i've been said this this was the fucking plan they wanted to delay election results that way if they mail in the ballots right and while they're all collecting it they could be like okay this is how many we need in order to beat Trump. So let's put this many in from this county, from this place, and this place to make it look right. And we can say that's how Biden and Kamala ended up winning. Yeah. Because if they, if they do the, if they sum up the results when it's supposed to happen, we, we know what's probably going to happen. It's probably going to be a red victory. But um, anyway. Let's get into the video, though. You like what I'm doing here? Like, comment, subscribe, share. I really do appreciate it. Let's get into it. If you live in Georgia, there's going to be more time to count your absentee ballot. A federal judge extended the deadline, ruling the ballots must be counted if they're postmarked by Election Day and delivered up to three days afterward. Georgia announced this week it's opening a new portal for registered voters to request an absentee ballot for the November election. Voters can make the request completely online as long as they have a driver's license or state ID card. The portal can be accessed on the Georgia Secretary of State's website. Now, with ballots allowed by law to arrive after the November 3rd election, Georgia is just one of several states that will slow down the final election results. Tarek Miner looks at other states also accepting ballots after Election Day. On the night of November 3rd... None of that sounds fishy to you? Come on, bro. None of that shit sounds fishy. Has there ever been a time where they had to do this since the time of the electronic polls? Please let me know. Does, does this shit sound fucking fishy to you? There's a very strong chance we'll all go to bed not knowing who won the presidential race between Donald Trump and Joe Biden if the contest is not a blowout. This I heard you, you hear what the nigga just said. Let me rewind it. I don't usually do this shit. We going to rewind this shit back just so you can fucking understand how serious this really is. It's also accepting ballots after Election Day. On the night of November 3rd, there's a very strong chance we'll all go to bed not knowing who won the presidential race between Donald Trump and Joe Biden if the contest is not a blowout. This is unprecedented. The number of absentee by mail requests that we have received. Instead so he said if it's not a blowout, we won't know on the third right that's why they're trying to stir all of this shit up because last time there was an election it was a blowout for this man trump it was it was a blowout when everyone thought hillary's gonna win it was a fucking blowout that's what they're scared of so if they can get as much people who were with trump to not be with him and all the new people discovering trump to not fuck with him they might be able to to have it a kind of a mystery make it close, and then they could fucking win it in, in disguise with these mail-in ballots, if y'all not understanding this. States like North Carolina, the election is already underway. Voters started casting their ballots today, 60 days before the election. Do it early. Don't wait till the last weekend to mail it back. But North Carolina and 15 other states and the Washington, D.C. will still count the vote if the ballot arrives after election day. Alaska, for example, will accept the ballot for up to 10 days post-election as long as... See, I think what needs to happen is voting needs to be done. Make it a law. If you're going to mail in vote, it needs to be done at least two weeks before Election Day. That way, there's no fucking excuse. That's plenty of time from now up until November. Yeah. Or the end of October. Yeah, I, I think that's plenty of time. As long as it's postmarked on or before Election Day. And in California, ballots are accepted 17 days after the election if properly postmarked. Other states with varying deadlines include Illinois, Iowa, Kansas, Maryland, New Jersey, New York, North Dakota, North Carolina, Ohio, Texas, Utah, Washington State, and West Virginia. The various sets of rules could add even more confusion to what could be a chaotic election cycle. I want to make sure it doesn't get lost. I've had so much concern over the postage system and so forth. Uh, I don't want to... Y'all don't think this is weird, man. Just just please picture this. The virus to scare you. And not only will it scare you and incite fear and all of this shit. But now it makes you scared to go to the polls because people have to gather there, right? They created a virus that, that you shouldn't be around people, right? Just about any sickness is going to tell you not to be around people. So that's... 
bam, that, they got it right there. And now if you're not around these people, you're scared to, to not be around these people. Now you're more inclined to mail in these votes. Now they have a loophole. Now they can really fuck up the election. Y'all don't think this is a fucking game? Y'all don't think this is a plan? Like, this shit sounds too good. This sounds like a really good plan. <sighs> Take any chance. This election to me is very important. And it's essential. I may have one vote, but I want that vote to count. Uh, what she said. I'm Tarek Minor, Channel 4, yeah. the local station. What she said. Well, let News for Jax be your resource for the election, right? News for Jax. Okay. Another clip for News for Jax. Shout out to them. All right. Um, I'm going to end the video right here. I hope y'all understand how these mail-in ballots is really fucking up this election. Or is going to fuck up this election. It's going to be a crazy year. 2020 will be like no other. Mark my words. But other than that, man, I ain't got nothing else to say. If you like what I'm doing here, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I do appreciate it, man. Love y'all.